I think it's very possible that it's a turning point. Um, you know, when we've seen corrections in the past, they're always followed by this big relief rally. And really, we think that a lot of the, you know, the action so far this year has been based on just negative sentiment and emotion and fear rather than fundamentals. Um, as far as how we're advising clients, really just looking to stay the course, um, continuing to add in cash that becomes available from dividends and interest and really stay invested through this volatility. The big question mark here is inflation, whether or not it's peaked. From your view, do you think we've seen peak inflation at this point? You know, that's impossible to answer right now. I think it's likely that, um, you know, there's a good chance that we have seen it peak. We've started to see those numbers come down a little bit. And if you talk about what the Federal Reserve uses as their measure with the core PCE, that's actually come down more so than other measures. So I think certainly in the, the latter half of the year, as we see headwinds from the pandemic continue to ease and a shift from consumer spending on goods to services, that's really going to allow a lot of these supply chain pressures to ease, um, thereby you know, bringing down pressures on inflation. Jerome Powell earlier today also said to the journal that there have been 11 tightening cycles. None have ever been like this one. There has never been seen a single tightening cycle like the one we're in. Now, that's based on geopolitical events as well as the uh, tight labor market as well. But he said we still believe we'll hit a softish landing. Do you? Yeah, I think there's a really good chance of that. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, if we think about um, you know, inflation starting to come down. We have a very tight labor market, historically low unemployment, um, rising wages. You know, we're able to add about 500,000 jobs a month and the housing market's very hot. So, um, you know, I think it only takes a little bit of inflation coming down for the Fed to really revise their stance and maybe become a little bit more dovish and less hawkish uh, moving into the rest of the year. And we don't really forecast um, recession moving forward. And Aaron, you noted that capitalism will solve inflation. Break that down for us. Well, I mean, I think if you look at capitalism, it's really filling a need that's there. Um, rising soybean prices was a great example from last year. Uh, you saw soybean prices really start to rise. What did farmers do? I mean, that's really incentivizing them to add that as a heavier part of their crop, grow more soybean. And now the increase in supply is going to bring down that that demand and bring down those prices. I'm sorry, bring down those prices. Um, so I think you know, with capitalism and ingenuity, um, the human response, really, we're going to see that continue to um, solve some of these problems and, and these fears that we're having um, and really just, you know, continue the path of, of markets and the economy as they've been historically and, you know, over time, continually steady to go upward.